I'm Lloyd Swain with Charter Channel 3 and welcome to our program today. You know, if you're a resident of West Richland, there's an important announcement that we're going to talk about here today. And it was a cooperative agreement between the City of West Richland and the Benton County Fire District Number 4 to improve the fire rating uh, for the West Richland area. And I'd like to introduce our guest today, Bill Whalen. He's the Chief. I'm the Fire Chief for the Benton fire County, chief fire, for Benton District County fire District 4. And Roscoe Slade, he's the Public Works Director for the City of West Richland. Th thank you both for joining us today. Talk to us uh, about this uh, this cooperative agreement which allowed you or allowed the, somebody to reduce the rating for uh, fires or for response to fires in West Richland. Okay. Um, fire departments around the country are, eva are evaluated uh, you know, on a periodic basis, and here sure. in Washington is mm -hmm. Washington Survey and Ratings Bureau. Uh, and prior to that, we had been working with the City of West Richland to try and improve our ratings prior to them coming out for the evaluation. And the majority of that was through a uh, water a water testing process, basically. It, what it does is evaluates the hydrant systems and our ability to draw water from the hydrants to actually do fire protection within the City of West Richland. Uh, that's where it started. Uh, then they came out, provided their evaluation, and together, collaboratively, we were able to reduce our rating from a six within the city of West Richland to a four. Now, how important is that? Is that does that directly deal then with response time if someone were to call and have a fire? D does it deal with that? The collaborative effort with our mutual and auto aid responses, yes, it does. Uh, what that enables us to do is get a number of resources in a certain amount of time to each location that there would potentially be a fire. That does help our uh, ratings within the city. But now from a <clears throat> response characteristics, we had a really good response time with just the number of people that we had within mm -hmm. the district already, but we needed, we needed additional personnel and that was done through mutual aid and automatic aid agreements that were put in place to be able to do that within our area down there. And the city as well, Roscoe, did a number of improvements to help this. Uh, talk about that for a moment. Yeah, when, th when they come in and look at the rating, they're looking at the water system as a whole. Mm -hmm. the redundancies, uh, reliability, and so over the last 10 years, the city of West Richland's put about $6 million into several infrastructure projects. Uh, three large wells, so adding additional sources. Uh, two million gallon uh, reservoir on top of Candy Mountain to give us additional firefighting suppression sure. uh, storage. Um, and the, the big thing was having a, uh, a formal fire hydrant maintenance program where it's actually documented. It's something that we do, we call a confidence check. Sure. And they're done annually. And they've been done in the past, but never documented, never the formal program. And having that actually helps. And so uh, we actually go out and check every hydrant annually is the, is the goal. And uh, the fire department sends guys out to help the city do that annually. And the idea is if we check them on a routine basis, the reliability or the, you know, the, the reliability of when, you, when they're needed for a fire that they're going to operate, that there's going to be an obstruction in front of them or, uh, you know, a valve closed that that fire hydrant isn't operational. Sure. Do you, do you test them every year? The goal is every annually uh, or any time they've been used by a, a, a fire department or a contractor. Um, we're probably, that's the goal, but mm -hmm. realistically it's probably within every two years. Where we're at right now. What can uh, West Richland residents expect? Can they can they see a reduction in their insurance, perhaps? What what can they expect? Possibly. Uh, I've contacted my own fire or homeowners insurance, and uh, and they looked into it, and yeah. So anywhere from uh, depends on the coverage, and uh, how you how you bundle your insurance, but anywhere from we're being told anywhere from thirty to one hundred thirty dollars a year. So we recommend people contact their homeowners insurance company and find out you know if they can also enjoy some savings in their annual homeowners insurance. You know this area has experienced growth and really not a downturn that uh, other areas of the country ha have experienced. Has the growth affected a lot of your plans in, in these areas? Uh, as far as the water system, uh, one of the things we did uh, probably about 10 years ago was mm -hmm. develop a hydraulic model. So it's an operating model, computerized model of our water system and it allows us to look at demands 20 years out. Um, so we can identify issues or problems that need to be corrected before they even become a problem. And so right now our water system storage, uh, as far as well capacity, water rights, we're 20 years ahead. So we're fixing items and improving stuff before it becomes an issue. 
Yeah, that's great. So. That's a, a great plan. Now, Bill, how many people work at the district? Uh, and now you added some personnel because of this. So, well, actually, the personnel were added from an EMS tax levy that the district actually supported, which we were able to provide for an ambulance right. transport program. But the latent effect to that was we do have a little bit better response time from a number of personnel because they were added with the EMS numbers in mind. So we do have a little bit better coverage, more personnel, but that also enhances our ability for fire protection, which is what the WSRB actually does their rating on, is for fire protection, uh, or, which dictates our ability to be able to provide fire protection within the communities. Um, and it also provided us a chance to look at where else we can improve in the future to even decrease that uh, number in the future. I believe rough numbers, about 130. We're about 130 points away from reducing that by another one point, which is a very significant number. Uh, when you talk about, you know, the, our number right now is four, moving to a three, we would be within a real select group of people that are at a level three within Washington State. Yeah, and what is that, does that number, does that coincide with time to response, or how, how do they come up with that number? There's a lot of things that play into sure. that. Um, Actually, the city's water delivery is a big piece. We have a combined communication center, which is called CECOM. That's another collaborative effort that we've got involved in that helps get our responses quicker. We have a training component of that, which we have to do um, you know, sure. a number of annual training yeah. hours. And then we do have what you're talking about is our response model, uh, deployment models, and our response times based on those deployment models. And all of those things are taken into the evaluation uh, are concerned within that evaluation so that that's how they come up with that number and going from a six to a four is pretty significant within the time frame that we had to do that and even if we continue to keep going with this collaborative effort I believe we can do better and get to the three very easily. Are you, are you, are you still evaluating the process although you're, you're ahead really in, in your plans in your hydrology model but what, what, what kind of future plans have you got? Um, right now we're currently working on a new intertie with the city of Richland's uh, water system and that will uh, add 50% more capacity to our water system uh, which is, again adds redundancy. That's currently under construction there on Kennedy Road. Sure. Um, we've got some water line replacements mm -hmm. and as we replace older water lines we're looking at what the new zoning is and so if it was in a, in a area that's prone for or right for redevelopment and commercial or industrial, sure. we're upsizing the water lines when we replace them and putting additional fire hydrants so we're prepared for future growth. Can people come and visit the uh, fire department or district? Do you have an open house periodically? Most definitely. They're more than welcome to come anytime. We're always open for business 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, but we would prefer you get there, you know, within <laughs> sure. the normal business hours of 8 to 5 because we have to let them have some downtime sometimes. But yeah, anytime they want to come, they can, you know, uh, we have a website, and I believe you're going to list that. And so they can right. look at the website. They can find out where our locations are, our phone numbers, and they would be more than welcome to come by. How much training uh, does a, a fireman go through? I mean, you, you have to continually reinforce your, your activities, don't you? After they get on, um, <laughs> this is a hard number to hear, but every day that they're on duty, they have to do six and a half hours roughly a day. Uh, you know, they work. 24-hour shifts and out of that 24 hours roughly anywhere from five to six and a half hours a day they're training to keep up all the skills and the mandated training that we're required to do. Well, important service too. Yes, it, it is. It means a lot. Uh, you know, Roscoe, how could people, if they wanted to contact you or wanted more information, maybe uh, some information for their insurance company, how, how would they get a hold of you or, or the, the city? Get a hold of us on our website. It's uh, www.westrichland.org. Um, or call the city, sure. the Public Works, at 967-5434. Um, and sometimes that information is also provided in our utility bill, monthly sure. utility bills, as sure. an insert. A anything either you'd like to talk about? You know, uh, do we've uh, got, actually got a pretty good deal <laughs> if, if you can, and, and there's a possibility of lowering insurance rate, which is, is great today, isn't it? So. I just look forward to continuing the collaborative effort with the City of West Rachel, Roscoe in particular, and there's some other areas that we've identified that we can work collaboratively together to improve our ratings just in different areas. Uh, building inspections is another area that we can work definitely collaboratively with the City of West Richland to improve our rating sure. in the future. Sure. That's great. Bill Whalen, Chief of uh, Benton County Fire District 4, Roscoe Slade, the uh, Director of Public Works for the City of West Richland. Thank you both for being here.
Thank you. Thank you for having us. Uh, now, uh, pay attention to this. If you're from the city of West Richland, this is an interesting topic, I know. Um, but uh, thank you for watching. I'm Lloyd Swain with Charter Channel 3. Have a good day.